Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here. Today I got a um, video going over iMessage on iOS 5. So here I got my iPad 1 on the left and my iPad 2 on the right. So I'm going to be showing you how to um, basically message, set up the settings, and uh, basically giving you a full walkthrough. Now I have my iPad 2, of course, on iOS 5, and my iPad 1 on iOS 5. So um, I'm going to be showing you the settings first, and then I'll show you actual um, sending message. So if we go to the home screen, obviously you can see that this is iOS 5, in fact. We can just open up the newsstand. There's nothing else that's like that. And, of course, the iPad 2 is not jailbroken. So um, if we go ahead and open up settings, we can go ahead and see. And we're going to go ahead and go down to messages. So we'll give you a nice close-up view. So this is in the settings app, and you go over to messages. So you can click enable right there. Send receipt and receive at, and you can set up as many emails just as, as you want. So if you have an iPhone, actually you can have your phone number to receive at. So that means if you don't have cellular um, connection, you can actually just send right through uh, Wi-Fi. So you can always receive text messages, so that's pretty cool. Go into here, you can see two email addresses. This caller ID, it's just the email address on the iPads and iPods. And then you can see right there, those are my two email addresses. So, I'm going to click the home button. That's pretty much most of the uh, settings. There's nothing too much, too exciting. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to be on the home screen on my iPad 1. I mean, my iPad 2. And I'm going to go over to iMessage on my iPad 1. I'm going to go ahead and send in message. So, by the way, you can send me messages right to facetimeha at gmail.com if you have the beta. So, I'm going to go ahead and click Hi, Send. And you can see that it is very instant. It's as if I sent it through cellular data on an iPhone. So, you can see it's right up there at the top. We can click on it or drag down. We got it right there. See that? Click it. And go right into messages. So it's really cool that it's really fast. It sends through. It sends two email addresses. Doesn't send through email. So it's really cool. But this is going to definitely be a killer for the apps um, like text now. Even though it's not a phone number, it's going to be texting through devices. So it's going to be really cool to see how this works out. So um, I'm going to be sending pictures. You can actually send pictures. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and click the side volume up. Take a picture, use, and send. So we'll just go to the home over there. And we'll get the uh, notification shortly. Okay, and there's the notification. It wasn't too long, it was like two seconds. Pull down. You can see right there, see the image um, preview right there. And if we just go ahead and open it up. We can see the image that I just took of the uh, light. So we can just go ahead and click out. It's very much like messages, um, like the messages app on the iPhone. So I really like it. It's really cool that you can actually send text messages between devices. So I, I'd like to see how this finally comes out, and uh, hopefully it's really cool. One last thing I'd like to show you is the split keyboard. So you take two thumbs and you basically just drag it over. Now as you can see there is a little bug right there I guess. I don't know how that's supposed to go but it's like this is still here even though that's over there. But basically you say hello this is test keyboard. So pretty accurate. It's easy to type on if you're typing with your thumbs but I usually like um, typing with my fingers. So here we go over here. We got two notifications. Bring that down. Open it up. And you can see, hello, this is a test keyboard. So I hope you guys like this video. hope if you could follow it. It's just hard to do the two um, iPads because they're both so big and I need to get them on the screen. 
So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I um, hope you like these iOS 5 videos, and I'm also doing a few review videos for the iPad 2 later, and maybe an iPhone case. So rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See you. Thank you.